Welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Adult Podcast. My name is Paul, and I am joined, as always, by the man who says two's company, but three is a crowdfund, uh, Bill. Hi, everybody, and what a fun time it's been. Listen, it's hard to think of something new to say every yes. week, all right? We try to make it topical. We try we to. try to think of something that relates to the first story. You it's know. not always going to be funny, all you, right? You, you get could, what you pay for. You could have let, let off with the uh, the 10,000 plus followers that we've gained. Oh, damn. I didn't you even. Know? I forgot, forgot all about that. We passed 10,000 followers on the TikTok. Look Bef- at that. Before it's Just all in banned. Time. Just in time. The goal was met. All our all our fans in Oklahoma about to not be able to see it or whatever. Oh state no! Is to ban downloads of it. <laughs> Listen, it was well, Montana. Oh well, we enjoyed your whatever. time. It was good while it lasted, yeah. and uh, we'll all be moving over to uh, Tickler or whatever the new one is. Crumbler. 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 Yeah, I don't know. That Crumbler. Is, that Crumbler. Sounds, it sounds like for cookie fans. It sounds, <laughs> that sounds like nice. it sounds like an app that like Homer would make up on The Simpsons mm-hmm. if he was like, oh, I gotta go on this TikTok. That I don't know. I'm gonna make my own, and he just starts looking around for words to form Com- an app. Compu Global Hyper Mega Net was there that his company go. that Mark that was suggested? his. Yes. Yeah, that was. It's so hard to watch those episodes and like put in context when they aired sure because it's like did we have internet because they there's like several episodes where homer doesn't have a computer like there's right. one where he goes to buy a new one and the guy's like trying to upsell him <laughs> he's like only a fool would buy that or only a sucker would buy that you're not yeah. a sucker are you because i'd have to ask you to leave the store heavens no oh i mean 96 97 would have been it that would that, that means that nothing right. to me i know what year did i first get aol 95 95 windows yeah. 95 yeah around the two that sounds good all right enough of that um go follow us on tiktok but also follow us on the other ones because that might yeah. be where you find us we're definitely on instagram everything gets posted in there we go plus youtube youtube's good too right anyway you can watch the whole show in within one long segment on youtube if that's your preference <laughs> anyway um my preference is that this Mattel Creations WCW Nitro entrance stage gets backed, but it had some trouble. As we mentioned last week, it did not meet the early bird tier. So Hogan off the table. Or is he? Oh, there's a twist. Did M. Night Shyamalan design this this, this Kickstarter crowdfunding? All right. So what happened last time with the new generation arena is it was performing very poorly. So Mattel, you know, smash glass in case of emergency they added a whole other figure a macho man and he was available for one week or something like that yeah and that really pushed people over the top everybody jumped on and all of the subsequent tiers got unlocked this time mattel had five tiers or four tiers including an early bird tier and they were all figures so if if it got funded to eleven thousand, you were going to get five figures but if it only got funded to 5000 which is the minimum, you only got the stage and one figure. And people did not back it. It didn't happen. It was at 40%. And um, like I said, didn't get that first early bird tier unlocked. So Mattel, even though they said they wouldn't, <laughs> I think fans knew better. And they Mattel uh, has added a second figure to the uh, the minimum tier, the 5,000. Oh. So now, if this gets unlocked at the minimum tier, you get the stage, you get Rey Mysterio, and you get, holler if you hear me, Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner, the first Scott Steiner Mattel. It's going to be an ultimate. These are all ultimate figures. Oh. So this is the figure that people wanted the most. So if we can get 5,000, we at least get that, which makes this a, a much better deal than just getting Rey Mysterio. And Mattel actually did, did, did a good job of rearranging the tiers because they didn't keep the subsequent tiers or subsequent figure tiers at the same level. Everybody got moved down one. So oh. now if this gets back at 7,000, you get Rey, you get Steiner, and you get DDP. And now if this gets back to 9,000, you get those guys plus the ultimate warrior. And if it somehow gets to 11, 
Hulk Hogan is back on the table. Wow. That early bird Hogan that uh, we didn't get. We could get him now if yeah. we get this to 11,000. So what are so your thoughts? I haven't, I haven't looked at it. What are your thoughts? I mean, this is a much better deal now. Yeah. Um, if you only get to 5,000, you get at least get Steiner, which we were saying we could probably sell him for 100 plus. So if wow. you if you just want the stage, but you want like a coupon, you want to save a little money, you could probably flip him and, uh, you know, then you're only paying three, three fifty, okay. or no, less than that, two, two fifty, and then Ray, maybe you can get fifty bucks more for him, down to two hundred, two hundred dollars for the stage. I think that would be pretty fair. Yeah. So definitely a better deal. And then there's still the possibility that this really gets people hyped up, and we get all five figures, five figures plus the stage, four hundred bucks. Yeah, that's that's okay. I think in the current market, that that is very acceptable. Okay, nice. That's exciting. Yeah. It is exciting. So this was announced Friday, um, only like on Steve's Instagram. I'd, I don't know how like they're officially announcing this because it's just an internet thing. So it's like you have to go to your wherever you read about wrestling figure news on the internet. So um, the needle has not moved very, very much since oh, no. the announcement. But I think Mattel needs to do like a bigger rollout of this information. Yeah. So we're doing our part. <laughs> We want because I would like to see this funded all the way to eleven thousand because I want all five figures. Sure, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. So hopefully that happens, or you know, maybe the market's just not there for that. If we if we see now that people still aren't backing this, then it was not going to happen regardless. Maybe it's mm-hmm. character selection. Maybe people are not a big enough fan of WCW. I don't know. We'll do a post mortem after the fact, or Mattel will and figure it out. <laughs> And uh, they'll have a lot of time to figure out the next one because there's no way they're going to roll right into that Raw stage next year. That's just it's not going to happen, especially because the tooling from this arena was going to help with the tooling from for the Raw arena, which Mm -hmm. apparently if it was made completely new, the Raw arena was going to cost 600 bucks. Wow. So the idea here is that the tooling will be shared with the Nitro Arena, which will bring the cost down. Hopefully okay. down a whole lot. $600. Sure. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, so we'll just we'll have to wait and see with all these kick- Kickstarters, crowdfunders. We just have to hope that things go well. And um, I don't think Mattel is going to do any more shuffling. I think they're this is probably – they're not going to add another figure. I don't – because they said they weren't going to do anything. And yeah. now – there's, it's you know, they had to do something because it was gonna fail. It, if they did nothing, it was going to fail. But they they keep putting themselves in this position where it's like fans know yeah. that they're gonna do something, <laughs> so it's like a game of chicken, right? So I, I it's, it's 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 a you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But hopefully it all works out in the end. It worked out last time with the new gen arena. I don't think anybody left that situation feeling like they got less than they wanted i think we got everything it was a good deal um it was actually probably makes this one look like worse of a deal because that one was such a good deal but it was also several years ago and we're it's different times now money is a different thing how was your week good good i think no one was sick yeah so that was exciting the kids are on vacation but i'm not or, or spring break spring break yeah the thing with so this is the first year that my oldest is in like non daycare school. He's in kindergarten. Yeah, which is free. I don't know if you know that. If you go if you go to public school, it's free. It's pretty. It's a pretty good deal. Right. Um. But the summer, there's this. This is what you know. When we went to school, we're like, yay, summer. But as a parent, you're like, what the f? <laughs> we what have do to I figure do? out what to do with this child for two months. And what we have to do, because we work, my wife and I both work, yeah. we have to send him to camps, camps that expect you to pay them <laughs> to yeah. watch your child. There's no, like, there's no, like, free daycare during the summer. Right. Which is, did you guys know, did any, did nobody told us this? Nobody, like, oh, yeah, every year you're going to have to plan to have two months where you pay, like, lots and lots of money for your kid to almost. be supervised. Almost. What do you mean almost? Well, like, there's got to be a cutoff at some point where you're like, nah, I trust you. Oh, like he gets old enough? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would hope so, but I don't know. When is that? Not for <laughs> a while. 
Not for many, many years. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they get your money no matter what. So. Yeah, I don't know if we know what we're <laughs> doing yet either. Cause... My cash app is, I'll put it right here. If you would like to, to donate to yeah, if you'd just like to... us keeping our head above water. Crowdfund. Or not even. but Crowdfund Paul's kids' <laughs> education for the, for the summer. Please, please, please pay to keep, please pay pay me to just allow my child to, to not be like, what do you, what would you do to a child? What, like what, if someone was like really irresponsible and they didn't want to pay for their kid, would they like chain them to something? Or I don't like, know. They like lock them, them up, home, lock, all the, lock all the doors and keep them in a room with the TV on and hope they didn't like pull a bureau down on themselves or something. Maybe. I feel like that would be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like at what point is that fine? It's a good question. When were we, when, like, at what age were we left alone? I was allowed to be left alone for an hour and a half at seven years old. An hour and a half. That was I, the limit. I would get off the bus. This is first grade. I would mm-hmm. get off the bus. Mm-hmm. I would go to, because I had, do you remember Spy Gear? Oh, yeah. So I had the Spy, <laughs> and we still have it yeah. too. It was our hide key for the longest time. I had the Spy uh-huh, Gear, the, the Spy Gear Rock with the whistle. Yeah. With the whistle uh-huh. that you would have to whistle in order for it to chirp. So yep. I would go, and I mean, we had like a little pond in the backyard, and I would go mm-hmm. and I'd just get the hide key and I'd go in the house and I'd feel all cool because I'm using my spy gear. Yeah. And then I would just. Did you have the sunglasses with the mirror right here so you could see behind you? I did not have that. I, mean, I had thought the that rock. was really cool. I need, to, I need to dive into that, into that, that line yeah. because I have, I have memories of that, and I have memories there was almost like. It was like a military style transformer line and like yeah. you had like a canteen that turned into an aircraft yes. carrier. Yes. I forget yes. what they're called, but I had a few I, I had yes. the grenade that was also mm-hmm. like a it was a it was a little ATV truck that would pop out. Right. Yeah. All these hidden gimmicks. It's like, yes. Did it have like little figures like Mighty Max? They did. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I you had know it, what but I remember about. the commercials. Absolutely, sure. I remember that. Sure. Yeah. I'll put the, I'm going to put that uh, commercial right here. I'm going to find it. Right. So the canteen was actually it was operational. It had like a little um reservoir that you could put water into it and then mm-hmm. be like, "Well, here's the action feature, guys." We need more toys we can drink out of. I don't I don't I we feel do. like not as many. We do. Like with these these new um like He-Man classic figures, yeah. They they took out all the action features. Okay, the origin. So you know, line. Figures? Yeah, origin. Oh yes, yeah. Because they're all shared parts. Sure. So they they can't make a unique body that has like the worst one to me is the snake with the really long arms. Oh yeah, squeeze. squeeze I think yeah. So he has really long arms and they're bendy. But the whole fun of him is you pull from the right and the left gets really tiny. Do you remember that? I mean, I just got so it's like squeezed. You stretch his arms out, and it was totally. It was just one solid piece, and there was like a hole, a cavity in his yeah. chest. So if you pulled one, the other one got really tiny. Well, that's like King Hiss now. King Hiss, the fun was to take off the face plate and the arms, yeah. and the snake body was underneath it. And now, because right. it's shared parts, the snake right. body is off to the side as an accessory. Right. And you, so you, I, I you, get you. You swap them. Yeah, yeah. that's different. And I get it, but man, I don't know. Like what, someone had to make a decision along the way that this is what we're gonna do. And like I'm not in, like growing up, it's like oh, action features are the worst; they ruin the figures. But in this case, I feel like that's the whole point of the figure was the action feature of the, these ones, at least. Yeah, I mean, wait, I think I gotta ask Scott Neelick about this. What he what he would have done if he was still in control of Mattel? Oh I sure, no. <laughs> this is I got. I gotta. I keep forgetting to reach out to him. He is gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk to anyone else. I'm not gonna have a reluctant adult conversation with anyone else until I can talk to Scott Nylick. So there you go. Somebody give me. Send somebody. Send me Scott's contact information. I'll just maybe I'll just contact him through his YouTube page. Okay. Okay. We'll work on that. Speaking of He Man, what is He Skeletor? Did you see that this was up for pre order this week? I did. What. What is this? This is not Faker. It's not this is Faker. Key no. Skeletor. Right. So. But what the f? What I, is it? I I didn't care enough to like do any research on He Skeletor or well, like sold out. Be interested in him. Like. Mm-hmm. You know, there's some. There's they pose mis- him fighting Skeletor. They do. So I guess he's a good guy. 
So he's like, he's not. He's just a blue He Man. Right. He's not like anti Eternia He Man, who's the, like the black, the all black He Man. He's a blue He Man. Yeah. yeah. He's a blue He Man. He blew himself. Right. There we are. Yes. But, uh. I have no idea. What... All right. So Fakor is a blue He Man, but he's got red hair and yep. purple fur boots and and panties okay he uh he skeletor has purple boots but black furry pants and black hair so that's the the main difference is the hair color okay but other than that they seem very similar and he's he's (laughs) fighting he's fighting skeletor in the pictures on Mattel Creations, they posed him fighting Skeletor. So this is and a, then, like, like back to back. Oh, and he's also fighting anti Eternia He Man. Okay. But he's back to back. He's almost like the reflection of He Man, how they pose them back to back. But why is he. He's Skeletor. So somebody please explain to me. Yeah, please, in the comments. Just let us know. There's a little there's a little description here. It says the 2020 Masters of the Multiverse comic introduced the concept of multiple different Eternias. Oh, so another multiverse thing. Why oh. is this why is this a thing? Can we stop? Can we stop with the multiverses? This is ruining storytelling. They want to just like, find a reason just why. Stop. Why, you know, this Earth sucks currently, but there was another Earth that might not suck as right. bad right now. On Anti-Eternia, He-Man is evil, and Prince Keldor never becomes Skeletor. Okay. Keldor is recruited by different multiversions of He-Man to claim the power of Grayskull, become He-Skeletor, and save every Eternia in the multiverse. Well, oh. that sounds familiar. So he's Enough, just please. Keldor. Okay. Enough. So he's yeah. just Keldor. Yeah, he's just Skeletor, but he's human. So the, the, here's oh, the maybe thing: there's a part where he gets the the skull face. I don't but know. that's that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, well, the they they the kind of explained that in the the two thousand the two thousand X uh, one where he gets his face like burned off. However, with like mm-hmm. a potion, Ooh. you always you always assume like so He Man looks like Prince Adam to a degree. Like he's just like a uh, like a juiced kind up kind of kind of I mean bit. a little bit. Well, in the in the cartoon, the original cartoon, definitely yes. In two thousand X, not so much. No, of course not. But then you were yeah. just assuming that this Prince Keldor looks like He Man as well because these are still kind of based off the comics and still kind of based off of the original cartoon to a degree. Well, we never we never saw Keldor in the original. No, no he's always Skeletor. Yeah. Right, but in the 2000X, he like had a beard. Yeah, he had the. the he looks like Xanatos. He did. Yeah, he did. He looked like every 2000 yes, old guy. The, the beard. He had to go back hair. What a villain! I hate He Man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just so lame. Like obviously, as a kid, these are just fun toys. Yeah, like, the quintessential toys. But man. The stories are so just like any, and that's like how they came up with this idea. It's right. like, let's have this, let's have aliens, let's have steak people, and they're like, yeah, let's do it. It's like that skit where they're coming up with gremlins for Gremlins Two. Yeah, it's like a vegetable gremlin. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> made of electricity. Uh huh. It's in the movie. It's in the He Man. There you go. I yeah. saw. I saw. What did I see? I saw the um, the Masterverse Man at Arms figure at Target. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, it is nice. So I found that and, clothes, right? And a couple other mm-hmm. ones that I saw, but I was like, I can wait. I'll wait for oh, a yeah, sale. It'll be on clearance. Yeah. yeah, there's no reason. No reason. There really pay isn't full price for anything. No, for no. anything. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's so, we're smart collectors. Right. Right. Don't collect hard. Collect smarts. Yes. Wink. Speaking of that, that's a good segue. So we talked about Pixel Dan getting his first action figure as um, Scott Powers. No, Spencer Powers. Scott Powers. Spencer Powers. Spencer Powers. Spencer. Yeah. yeah. Um. So if you're going to PowerCon, you can pick that up for forty bucks, which is a lot, but it's a, it's a convention exclusive because it's a bendy. It's not like an articulated action figure. It's like right. It's a bendy. It's a bendum. Um. If you are not attending, you can now order from the website. Non attendees can can order um, all the things and they'll ship it to you. So you oh, pay good. shipping. But they also added uh, a surcharge oh, to all that. of the items. So 
they actually are expecting you to pay an extra six bucks per figure. Oh, why? In this case, some of the other ones cost more. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they're trying, you know, the whole point of a convention is to make money for the creators. I think you have to understand that going in. It's not, it's like, it's not really for the fans. It's yeah. like for the fans to pay money to, to the people right. that they like. It's like a way to, to, you know, yeah, you get it. It's like the so, old casino adage, the house always wins at the end of the day. Was, but like, you're, you know, you're, you're happy. You're happy. You're supporting people creators that you enjoy and this is the way to do it this is the conduit through which you give them their money um so the idea here is you're paying extra because you're not paying for the ticket like the people who are going there should be there should be like it should be cheaper for them because they're already paying money to to either fly there or just be there to Mm -hmm. buy the ticket to buy the food so like that's fine but like six bucks is kind of a lot when you if you it's a you know a set of four so like that adds up and then if you can buy multiples it's already expensive i don't know I want to own the Spencer Powers Bendy. I do. I do want to own it. Okay. I will not be paying 46 plus shipping for it. No. Um, but I have a feeling these are going to end up on the secondary market for less. Okay. <laughs> than, than sticker price. I, I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling. Um, and like Dan will probably end up with a bunch that he'll sell. And maybe he'll autograph them. If I'm going to get it, I want it autographed by Pixel Dan. Oh, wow. I want it autograph. Come on. Maybe he'll do like a combo with his He-Man book or something. Um, and then I'll have toilet paper for the rest it, of the year. Do you think like, an, an autograph good. with like a pseudonym like Pixel Dan is is good? AKA Spencer Powers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he has to sign it. I wonder if Spencer Powers has an autograph because he, when he does these wrestling shows, if, if there are kids there that think he is Spencer Powers, they're probably not aware of, of Pixel Dan. Sure. And then does... Does he sign things, Pixel Dan, and then his last name? Because he uses his last name. He does. Yeah. So I don't. That's not like a separate person. Like Pixel Dan, last name, whatever his last name is, and then there's Spencer Powers. Like those are two separate characters. Right. I wonder what he Pixel Dan looks like. <laughs> he Pixel Dan. I multiverse. think we've seen it. Haven't we seen it when he was reviewing that barbecue sauce? Oh yeah, we did. And he had the shirt with the, like the He-Man body printed yeah, on it, right? And that's when we were sort of like, "What is this guy doing? <laughs> you went too far." We were this concerned. Time, we were concerned. We were concerned for his his uh, ability to make decisions, yes. rational decisions. Yeah. Um, so that's coming up this summer, I think. I don't know. We're almost in summer. Is we next are. Number, when does when does summer like uh, like officially start? Technically, this, this start? is going to surprise you, but mid June, late June, June twenty okay, so, June twenty so first, twenty second. Yeah, but so. the like the summer movie season starts next month. It does. Yeah, Mario probably counts as a summer movie because it's the biggest movie ever. Mario's. Have you seen it and yet? That's out. I just saw it. Oh, good you for you. Just saw it. I haven't seen it so, yet. My son's my son's school did this fun thing where they rented out the theater. Oh wow! And you could sign up to go see the Mario, and it was free. It was free. And this is one of those theaters where they they serve you dinner. Okay. So it's like we paid a lot in the end, but we, we yeah, technically didn't pay to see the movie. There you but go. we got there at a time where everyone else was already there, so I had to sit. I I sat in literally the front row, oh, so gross. I had to like crane my neck. But it wasn't as bad as some theaters. Like it wasn't so close. Yeah. I felt so I like sort of late because it was a booth. So I like laid down a little bit so I could see, and then my pizza came and it was it was disgusting. But that's okay. oh no. Um, I still ate. I still ate. Um, so did you have you seen it yet? No, I haven't. Okay, so it was a very good Mario movie. If you're good. familiar with Mario, and if you're not familiar with Mario, why did you see this movie? Sure. <laughs> like, there's no reason if you're if you if you've never played a Mario game, if you have no if you care none if you have no feelings towards this character do not see this movie because this movie is not going to tell you anything about who this character is (laughs) this movie assumes you have all of this backlogged information right and you're just going to be like oh i remember that oh that's cool that's fun and that's why it's good it's not a good movie in terms of like telling a coherent story or character development it's like that looks really like that's candy like it looks really good and it's Mario, and I love those characters. There we go. I'll probably see it this week coming up with the kids. Yeah. It, it was like, oh yeah, kids. It was like it. if we wanted to go early enough, even like the shows last week, sort of like ten thirty in the morning, which were like perfect for. I was like telling my wife, yeah. hey, go, go with one of the kids, just go. 
at 10 30 just go i would go yeah. i'd look on online in the theater we like to go to they were all sold out already and i was like geez oh, that's crazy wow it's so, already made more money than any animated film ever right crazy like well, that I think, in two weeks i think frozen 2 was the top contender in terms of animated films and it knocked that one out in the first week yeah so in a week in a week <laughs> I guess that's worldwide. It's a because... Billion dollar movie coming up, I'm sure. Is Not Nintendo? Already. Is Nintendo? I'm trying to think, like a of all the like. There's like a list of all the brands that are, have are worth the much. There's like Harry Potter, yeah, Pokemon. I think Mario is like up there. Okay, like up there with like Star Wars and those yeah th- those ones. Yeah, but I think it's like Pokemon be. makes more money just like through. Because they have the game, the, the the you know like the games, but then they have Pokemon Go and they have cards and like all the other traditional resource sure resources. Um, but yeah, if you like if you like Mario, and who doesn't? <laughs> it looked very good. good. The animation was like borderline too realistic. Okay. But then, because you know, then like the character models are are cartoonish. right. But then like there's like so much fine. There was like. There's obviously lots of scenes where there's pipes because they're plumbers, and like the, the 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 animation pattern of the pipes, like the rust, and I'm just like, did they did somebody like actually go and animate this, or it's, or this is like an AI thing or what? Like it just looked too real. I'll get to it, but it, in a good in a good way. Okay. So fun fun movie. Yeah, definitely go see that. Good. Um, I mentioned Gremlins a moment ago, and. Finally, at long last, the Gremlins cartoon is going to air. Very good. And it's going to air on either HBO Max or just Max because they've changed, they're changing their name or they may already have changed their name. Yeah. Did you see that announcement? I did. I didn't really care yeah. either way. It's like, okay, so it's Max. Great. Yeah. But I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm taking a stance now that I don't like it. Oh, uh, it's on Max. What does it's, like by Cinemax? My point. Isn't Cinemax? Yeah, Cinemax. Yeah. Is that still a thing? Yeah. No. Sure. Go, I don't know why they're like they don't like being associated with HBO. Okay. But why HBO is like when you think of TV, that's like the highest level. Like yeah, like HBO. Like oh, all the good television. stuff is on HBO. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. You got to pay for it. My God, that's the original right. thing where it's like, oh, I can't afford to watch that. It's on HBO. People, all everybody's talking about it the next day. I mean, come on. Yeah, you want to be on right. HBO. You want to be. On I don't it. get it. That's silly. That making some decisions. Silly. So, anyways, this 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 Mogwai show. What is it called? It's called Gremlins: colon, Secret of the Mogwai. It's coming to HBO Max on May twenty third. They have the first. This is the. It's been talking. We've been talking about this this damn show for two years at least. At least, yeah. We saw like we saw like a like a, a still image of what Gizmo looked like and the animation style like right. a long time ago, and we didn't like it. <laughs> I still don't love it, but I think the the show looks very good. It's so that's the storyline is this is a prequel. This is back where you know Gizmo. I don't, hopefully they don't call him Gizmo because that would make no sense. I think they but do. The, they make no sense. I he, know he was not his name was not Gizmo and, <laughs> until Billy called him Gizmo or no his the dad father called, called him, him Gizmo. Gizmo. Yeah, father, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been calling him Gizmo. Anyway, this is the story of the origin of of where the Mogwai come from. So there's multiple Mogwai, then they become gremlins. These kids take him on a train to go find the origin. Um, it looks very well done. It has a tremendous cast. All the people, you know, Spielberg is involved because he was involved. He directed yep. the original one. Um, what was did he did Spielberg just produce it? Because Joe Dante directed it, right? The original Joe Dante gremlins? directed both. Yes. Okay. So Spielberg was a producer. Spielberg was that. a producer. Yeah. Yeah. So he's involved with this one as well. Um, Looks, I want it to be good. I love it. I love the characters of the Mogwai and the Gremlins. Um, animation style, like immediately, I don't like it. But we'll see if it sure. grows on me. It's they. It it looks. Remember, like Parappa the Rapper, <laughs> yeah, from Sega. It has sort of that vibe to it, where it's, it's got, like intentionally low res. Yeah, it's got that vibe. It's got a what is it? Um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, where they went away oh, from yeah, the, the weird go. weird cell shading that they were doing. Flat. Yeah, like overly but there was flat. still texture to it. <laughs> But it's weird because, like, this, you know, the the character of Gizmo was the original Baby Yoda. Like, you yeah. could sell a lot of product of this character. So it's like they chose to make him less cute, which was a, maybe it just, like, 
maybe they they had to do a cheaper animation like they couldn't afford all the pixels to make all like they should have done this like the muppet babies cartoon like they invented technology to have like all of the fur on the characters move a certain way like right. fozzy like look at the character model for baby fozzy on muppet babies imagine using that that animation now to make a gremlins that would have been amazing. That would have been but nice. I guess they don't have Muppet, Muppet money. No. Not <laughs> if this for HBO. Not know. if they want to stay under uh, who who bought them out. What was it Discovery? Discovery Plus. They yeah. want to stay under their radar and not get not get obliterated. Well, it's already been renewed for a second season, but that doesn't necessarily It was mean, renewed for a, a second a season before renewed. it was even like it was like a year ago it was renewed for a second right. season. It was it was a while ago. Yeah. yeah. It hasn't even aired yet. So <laughs> We'll see if people. I mean, it's a good. That's a good. That that says that that somebody has faith in the show, which sure. is great. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope people watch it. I hope it's good. Most of all, maybe we'll see some figures from NECA. Although they, I don't know what they would look like. They were really like. I guess he does the the Toonie Terror, so maybe they look. A little maybe bit they'd like be that. like that. Yeah. But so that's what's going on with that. Good. Um. Speaking of NECA, I saw that they had a tease for, like, showed a turtle belly and a belt with a question mark. Yeah. And it's for something called April's April Takeover. And I guess in one of the Archie comics, April becomes a turtle and she oh. just is a turtle. I don't know if she's, like, totally black or that was just, the, the like, the style of that panel. But she's, like, a turtle. And then her, she, her belt, instead of having the letter, just has a question mark. Okay. So. I did see the image, they... and then I was like, eh, didn't think much of it. No, I don't. I could care less. But I do like those the style of the turtles, and if they want to do more turtles, I would be fine with them doing these like more cartoonish looking turtles. I think those look fun. Did you buy any of the mutants that had come out with the Archie comic stuff, like uh, Ray Fillet? I got Slash. And... Yeah, I got Slash. Slash. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen the other ones. I don't. They don't really do anything for me. No. Because I don't know, like, the Jaguar character. I don't know that character. Right. That was original to the comic. It looks good. It does. I just don't have any connection to it. Um, it's it, Since it's April's April takeover, you have to imagine there's going to be some more April product. Do you think they're ever going to announce a re-release of that original cartoon April? Oh, the head? Well, the they whole said, figure. They said one was coming at some point, so maybe they did. Yeah, but it's been a while. It has been. I still, I, I gotta like throw mine on eBay before then because it's you still do. going for like a hundred fifty bucks or something. Loose. Right, loose, huh? Wow. Yeah, not even in the like with the with the foot soldier. Just oh no, April her by herself. You showed me this picture of the Indiana Jones. <laughs> adventure set is that what it is yeah it's like uh, the adventure series yeah. it's similar to like the mission the mission series uh action Kid figures focused. right that star wars puts out mm. so adventure series and so it's in the you know plastic free packaging it's it's a right. larger box and these are smaller figures they are so I'll, <laughs> I'll you know i'll put a picture right here if you're if you're watching this on youtube there's it's like Less than a fourth of the packaging yeah. <laughs> is used up by by the figure in the motorcycle. Like it looks it's, ridiculous. <laughs> it's so wild, and it, it's really funny because I think I mean Hasbro started doing this a long time ago, where even with like the deluxe beast assortment that you were getting with like Star Wars, to so say they did the Wampa uh, with uh-huh. Luke, you'd open it and sixty percent of the box space would be empty. Right. You might have an instruction se- sheet in there, but that's it. And then everything else was tucked away in one side. So the same situation yeah. here. It's you get Indiana Jones, you get the uh-huh. you get the cycle, and then you get the sidecar that you have to attach. But they're all mm-hmm. taking up like, like you said, a mi- the, the, the bare minimum amount of space. Yeah, because you can imagine how big they are. Now put right. them up against the box. They're, they're not even spread out. They're like in a line. Like and, the, like the top fourth of the box yeah. is not even fully occupied by figures. And it's it's not it's not like it's a it's a large box. It's large enough for yeah. what for what it is, which is yeah. just wild. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is just like, you know, we always we always think it's funny how Amazon ships like, you know, a paper clip in a giant box. Yeah. But they they have an algorithm for how they pack their their shipping containers and they right. need, need the space to be filled completely 
the same similar reason Hasbro has this space on a shelf and they want to fill it. So if they did like this really tiny, like a harmonica, harmonica sized box, people would overlook it. And there's just lots of empty space on the shelf. Yeah. So it's more advertising space. It looks, you know, it's ridiculous. You know, you buy it and you expect it to be filled with product and then it's nothing. It's like right. buying chips. It's just air it's on just the top air. of it to keep well, it safe. Yeah. You mentioned last night because I showed you a picture that I had come across those uh, Jurassic Park 30th yes, um, yes. collections that are uh, in the in the vein of the old Kenner line. But mm-hmm. the box just looks like, and you mentioned, I'm looking at it, the box just looks like yeah. it's art. It's like an art box. You don't know what's inside of it. It doesn't look like there's a toy inside. And the same right. goes with this Indiana Jones line. You don't know, because it's yeah. animated. It's a cartoon on the front of the box. You don't know yeah. that it's a toy. So you just walk by and you say, what is this? <laughs> Maybe it's a puzzle. Yeah, I don't know. What am I exactly. What am I buying a board game? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, it's going away. The, the plastic free is ending. So right, it, you know, all of the problems we have with it, it's like yeah, they they get it now. Yeah, <laughs> it's not it's not working out. But like, maybe these kid lines keep with it this this sure, process maybe. because they in the in the release Hasbro talked about collector focus lines. Right. So we'll see. And then Mattel, they haven't made any sort of announcement. So no. we'll see what they do. They just think the box looks pretty. We don't need your art. We just want to see the toy. The toy is the art. Hang it on the wall. Yeah, yeah, the right. toy is the art. I know. You're spending all this money on, on digital art. Yeah. We don't need that. We well, just I said to, to you. Thing we're buying. I said, I think I'm all set with just, just the photo of the of the, uh, the box that I took. Because that's, that's as far as it needs to go. Because That it's... scratches the nostalgia itch so long. Yeah. You don't need the actual figure. Because the figure is going to be a disappointment. You know right. it is. It's already been yeah. re- it's already been released. It's a it's a standard right. Ian Malcolm just, or Alan Grant that we've already got. silly blaster or whatever. Yeah, giant oversized Kenner it. blaster. Yeah. Ian Malcolm in a hang glider. Right. Exactly. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> um, we started the show talking about the Mattel Creations arena. Um, and those ultimate figures um, are like the best of the best that Mattel is doing. Whether, you know, whether you agree with that or not, that is how they are priced, at least. <laughs> um, I have a few of them. Some of them are better than others. But this one is probably one of the best. So this is uh, Razor Ramon, real name Scott Hall. That's how he would be known in WCW and later on when he came back to WWE. Mattel, they've been, they've been making wrestling. They've been making WWE product for 10 years, more than 10 years. They've done a fair share of Scott Hall action figures. They've never looked like him. <laughs> it took until this figure... To get the likeness correct. And thankfully, you get not one, but two Scott Hall heads that look pretty good. You actually get three heads, but I don't think the third head, it's like more neutral. And it just looks like, I don't know. I don't like that one. But I like two of them. And that's pretty good. Because what you can do is if you have a previous Scott Hall or Razor Ramon figure, you just pop the other head on that figure and now you have two good Razor Ramon figures. Wow. It comes with a bunch of extra hands. This is what I... So we we talk about figures coming with too many hands. In this case, it's warranted because he comes with hands that allow him to do his signature poses. So you see the thumbs pointing at him. That's something he would do. And then he has these open palms because he would walk into, like, walk into the entrance. He would do like the stretched out hands like that. Very good figure. Very enjoyable. Um cost $35 not cheap not cheap by any means he's got the drop down hips that I, I so now I kind of get it I've talked about how I don't know if the drop down hips are worth it but what it allows you to do is if he didn't have them that's probably the extent of how high he could reach he could like lift his leg but with the drop down hips wow look at that <laughs> wow and, and then they were talking about this this next Bret Hart being the first one that could actually do this the sharpshooter and that's because you can lift you can lift the leg up above above like the hip line so he can unfortunately these knee pads are so restrictive that he can't bend his knees but if they if he could he would be able to bend his knees and he could sit with his his legs above his uh hip line so good playability um the one thing i would see i would like added to these figures that this is what jazz wears does this is just a straight at the hip, just a straight swivel. Make this a ball joint 
because he has a little he has some rotation there but if you could have him bend down at the waist just it would improve it a million times over so that would require a lot of uh a lot of design changes but i think it'll be worth it honestly if there's ever a point that mattel goes back to the drawing board to completely redo the bodies for the wwe guys please consider that above all else <laughs> that is the my most wanted thing and there's just something about the legs that are weird to me i don't know what it is these legs have been the same since series one of the elites 10 plus years ago these are the same legs other than the drop down hip these are the same legs even the the weird ankles where you can see like way too much air. Like look, look at all of the space you can see. Like Whoa. that's that's not okay. That's he, not okay. He just looks like he's wearing sneakers. <laughs> it, but like look at the space yeah. you can see between like look at all of that that negative space. So much. So I don't like that. But good figure, good razor Ramon. Grab that if you see him, because he's hard to find. There's even a chase. There's a purple chase. Ooh. Ooh. I sent you this picture of a Raphael Ninja Turtles Raphael in space figure. Yeah. But it's not the original in space figure. It's an it's a new figure. Okay. So I was starting this it was like a prototype like it was somebody should not have it. <laughs> they should not share the photo of it. Okay. But people were speculating like okay, is this why Playmates had Super 7 stop doing their ultimates because Playmates intends to go back and update those original figures? Yeah. But then there was the the thought that maybe this figure is from the new movie line and their playmates is just borrowing some classic looks to make these more uh, attractive to collectors. Maybe. Because the even like the sticker outline on the chest is very reminiscent of that original Raph and Space figure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to imagine it's intentional. But we'll see. We'll see what they're going to do. Diamond Select Toys showed off a bunch of stuff this week. I saw their photos all over the internet. Did you see anything from them? No. I disappeared. <laughs> I know, right? I didn't see anything. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Not a That's thing. so funny because I literally, like, every, every day something new was popping up. Everywhere like, you went. Lord no, of I didn't the see. Rings. I might have seen Lord of the Rings. AW I don't know. Mini Mates. Nothing. I didn't see a thing. Okay. The one thing I want to talk about is they are doing Darkwing Duck figures. Okay. And what they showed off, there's a statue, but then there's a figure of um, of Darkwing Duck. And then um, who's the villain that's like him, but the colors are switched? Oh, my goodness. You had to ask Mega me. Mega Duck? Yeah, that, that sounds right. Yeah. He's yellow, um, but it's yellow and black. Yeah, yeah, and a red yeah. hat. Yeah. But they haven't finished, like, putting the articulation in, so his arms were just straight. Oh. But it looks good. But there's that Funko figure from not long ago. So I don't know that we really need this, but it comes with an alternate head, some accessories. So I might check it out and see what that looks like. There you go. I was at Target this week, and there. do you ever, like, you know, Target will clearance things, and you sort of play the game of, like, okay, I, I think it'll go one more round. I think I can wait. You could hold on. And yeah. I played that game with the Harry Potter Lego stuffed figures. Okay. That have been out there for a long time. So, like, a lot of them sold through. Like, there was a Hermione. There was a... Um, um, who's the big guy? Who died? Hagrid. Hagrid. Sorry. Hagrid. Yeah. There was a Hermione. There was a Hagrid. I want to say there was one more, but I, I, I'm not sure. But uh, nobody wanted Voldemort and nobody wanted Dumbledore. Oh. But for six bucks. Oh, here we go. I wanted them. I got them. Ah! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. So I bought these really for myself, but I bought them for my wife because she's a big Harry Potter person. But it's funny because I gave them to her. And later on, she was like, you know, I like other things than Harry Potter <laughs> because <laughs> like I, it is true though even for Christmas like five below had a bunch of those Harry Potter mini figures and I yeah. got those for her and a lot of the thing I got her one of those like figures that look like yarn do you know what I'm talking about they're like in a, they're sitting down and they look like they're made of yarn but they're made of plastic there's a bunch of different brands but they did a, um, a Snape figure so I got her that because she likes Snape okay so you know if there is like 
if they're if I'm gonna buy her like a toy of something, I would probably just do Harry Potter. So she's telling me that no more. She's she's all done with Harry so, Potter. Yeah, she likes other stuff, and you say I don't know you anymore. You like Harry Potter, and that's it. Yeah, I only know you as someone that likes Harry yeah. Potter. Well, she said that, and then I was like, all right, well, what do you like? And she didn't like have something immediately <laughs> to say. <laughs> she's like, I don't know, Golden Girls. And, oh wow! And then later she got she got some like snoopy peanuts makeup from amazon and she's like i like snoopy i'm like okay but like you know there's only so much snoopy media do for me you gonna really sit there need... and watch the cartoons that's like that's like an hour tops of right. time do you really need snoopy stuff around your house at this point if you're not already a dedicated snoopy collector yeah where am i gonna go to the hallmark store they don't even have right. those anymore right what am i supposed to do yeah. So I'm still gonna buy her Harry Potter stuff. There you so go. It's she can like, she can deal with it. I don't want to hear it. I don't listen. <laughs> She's gonna like it. That's all. That's all I can say. Just get her a Kindle like I did. It's the best gift. Oh, she has that. Oh, she. I mean, she reads. She downloads all those books. Yeah. She's always on there. Oh, I re- I took a, I took like a five minute five minute break and I looked at looked at what my wife was reading and I was like, jeez. <laughs> she. She gets like the free books that are like, well. That was the thing. So she got she got the Kindle, um, the paper white for Easter. Yeah, I like those. And uh, it came with three months of, I think it was like Amazon Kindle Unlimited or whatever the service is. Yeah, and she, and she can read at this point. She can read a book in three days. So she she's like, there are books that I wanted that I didn't want to pay, pay money for. So she's like. Yeah. Going through night, you know, she's going through like six books a week now at this point. Oh my god, I know. No problem. She doesn't watch TV anymore. She just reads books. In. Oh my god. But that's I can't. We gotta. We have to stage an intervention or something. A books. I don't know if you can stage a. You know. Oh, you don't spend it. You're just too busy reading books. That's not an argument. There's <laughs> no argument yeah, there. I, well, hold on. <laughs> But it's not like she's reading Dickens or like anything. No, but it's not like, you know, it's like her. <laughs> it's like, oh, you put the kids down for bed and then you go read. And it's like, that's that's acceptable. She doesn't her downtime. But she stays up too late reading now. So, well, see, that's a problem. Yeah. Does she wear the blue blocker glasses because it's she's doing harm to her eyes? I don't think so. I think the paper white has different. Uh... Well, I know it's not like a like looking at your phone yeah but still you're i guess that's true yeah it's not even it's not sending out the blue light because it's like a right. flat showing that's different. why i prefer that i can't i would not i can't read regardless but i <laughs> could not read for very long on my phone because my eyes would just dry out and well, fall out of my head she was so pumped because she had like i mean i think i bought her original kindle like maybe nine or ten years ago and <laughs> she was like just feel the weight and the weight difference and i was like oh wow that's something because she went from so like light. holding something that was like the size of like a small laptop, <laughs> just right. like yeah. falling on her head. It might as well have been like oh a my God. might as well have been an iPad. But um, yeah. she went from that to this tiny little six six point like seven inch screen. Mm-hmm. It was like just like an upscaled like Apple phone. So that's nice. Yeah, I happy. need something that will flash the words in one spot. Okay, so you can read very quickly. Because that actually works for me. If if you can just flash the words in one spot, that is how I prefer to read. Hmm. So like put like put it in my glasses, put it right there. I'll read. Yeah. At that speed, because I lose interest so quickly. I start my wine. My mind starts to wander, and I get sleepy. I'm not oh, a good reader. Sleepy. I've never been a good reading. reader. Yeah, it makes me so sleepy. Even reading to my kid at night, I start to yeah. fall asleep. <laughs> and that's why he doesn't <laughs> like when I read to him. Cause I'm like, I'm like seriously like half awake. Oh no! And then I'll 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 like come back to consciousness, and I'll be like, where 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 were we? Did I read that part yet? It's like oh. an hour later. Uh oh. Does um? So I need some help with that. Does does your kid have any like dances that he wants to go to or anything like that? Put on by um, the school, like you can go and. They haven't done dances yet, but he will want he will want to go. I can I can feel it. I went to a dance last night. Oh, with your daughters? Daddy yeah, daughter dance. No, That's it was fun. like it was like a it was a first through fifth grade dance, and you could bring mm-hmm. one adult. So I I got to go. Wow. That's um, great! It was a lot of fun. I never went to dances as a kid. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to like chaperoning them now. I want right. to see 
Like, is there the big punch bowl? Do kids try to spike it? <laughs> I want to know, like, if these TV tropes are real because I, oh, I never sure. lived it as a child. I it was funny. I had a, I had emailed to me because you had to sign up and go through like Venmo to pay for pay for it and everything, and then mm-hmm. they sent uh, a code of conduct, and I was sure. like, "This is insane. <laughs> this is, is the it, wildest it's too thing." Strict? No, no, it's just kind of funny. It was like, you must adhere to these areas in the school. I go, that makes sense. They're like, you yeah. mustn't drink alcohol on the premises. And I'm like, it's an elementary school. I mean, what parent is bringing booze? I don't know. I don't know. That's why they, it was I mean, they're saying funny. it for a reason. They it are probably saying it for a reason. It point. probably yeah. did. You're right. You're right. Get but, uh, kids drunk. But yeah, no, my mother was like, oh, what's, what time's the, uh, what time's the, the dance? Is it from six to 10? And I'm like, 10 o'clock and you expect a kindergartner to go to a 10 o'clock dance i go it goes from six to eight yeah but then sure yeah, enough my daughter right. wanted to go to chili's because it's the fanciest restaurant to her so we went to chili's afterwards well sure you got to make it the whole experience and then she wanted to go to target and she got a video game so she was like spoiled all night what a day she wow. got the day yeah that's great it was just her birthday like a couple weeks ago it was birthday month we don't know how to say no well no you don't no no, don't work we're starting to learn because our kid is a serious brat (laughs) serious brat oh my god he is getting so sassy it's gonna be a problem (laughs) it's gonna be a big (laughs) oh man i want this no uh (laughs) he's starting to to, like rationalize it to us too yeah like go through the reasons why he needs it like oh wow stop trying to like smart your way out of this it's not gonna work (laughs) Oh boy, good stuff though. Speaking of sassiness or just being plain mean, did you see that Wendy's has a TikTok now, and they have an animated head of Wendy's that will roast you? I did see an animated Wendy. I didn't know it was attached to TikTok. Yeah, so this TikTok account has this animated head, like you know, like on the iPhone, you can make your emoji. Right, right. So that's what they did with Wendy. And she's there was apparently National Roast Day. I don't know what it was, but it's continuing. Okay. So she like she's asking people to ask her to roast them. So like brands are asking to roast, and like she's not pulling any punches. Like Wendy's is seriously ripping these these companies a new one. Why does she have to be mean? Because that's her whole thing. If you remember back on Twitter, the Wendy's account is mean <laughs> oh that's their thing so it has continued and people like it people like it a lot like 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 ma'am this is a wendy's yeah and uh but this is taking it to a whole new level we should so have i want to take i think you're going i want to take direction. this moment wait say that again i think you're going in the direction i want this to go to i'm gonna let you complete your thought okay okay so i want to take this moment to talk directly to wendy's and I would like you to roast us, the Reluctant Adult Podcast. There Do we go. your worst, Wendy's. What are you going to say? What can you say? What about me is roastable? Huh? Give us your worst, Wendy. <laughs> if that is your real name, Wendy. You go back to uh, Neverland, Wendy. Oh. Huh? Wendy's nuts. Yeah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> You sell baked potatoes. What's that about? Hmm? Hmm? Do they still sell baked potatoes? 100%. 100%. Oh, wow. That's their thing. Okay. I watched a TikTok on why, and I don't I don't really remember it. It was just something about, like, it's really easy to, to sell, like, to store it. Yeah. And then it's, it's, like, considered healthy. It's healthier. So people like that. Because fast food places don't even have salads anymore. Like, McDonald's doesn't have a salad option anymore. You know what's interesting about the McDonald's menu is that it's – it seems like there's less on the McDonald's menu than there ever was it before. It's, yes, like, I there's agree, almost 100%. like a secret menu that you're not supposed to be aware of, like the the secret McDonald's cake that all the all the McDonald's yes. have in their freezers for the birthday cake. The birthday cake. Yes, yeah. but well, you say that because for a long time I didn't go to to McDonald's, and then sure. something happened. I think it was we had a kid. <laughs> what you do yeah. is you take them to McDonald's. And yeah, it's like, okay, there's, you know, the burgers and the different varieties. Like, I usually get the, the double quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. Mm-hmm. But then there's like, you know, if you want a burger, okay, there are some burgers. And you want a chicken, okay, there are some chickens. 
and that's it. There's, there's, there's not really any other, other like, you know, the, the nuggets, okay. But there's not, like, another entree. It's, like, burger, chicken, nuggets. Right. No salad. I like to no go salad. for salad. I like to go for breakfast. Snack wrap, gone. I like to go for breakfast. Breakfast is good. Have you? I love the... I Okay, what? Have you tried the... Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I have. The, um, no, oh, God. Maybe. The bagel with, um, what is it? Sausage? Shoot. No, God, this is... This the griddle? Is, no. Oh, damn it. I'm, the steak, egg, and cheese on a bagel. I almost got the steak with the McGriddle, but we got there at like 10.32 and they... Oh, like, sure. They're, they're like, no, we can't. We don't do breakfast at 10.32. It should go to 11. All, it should be all day. It was there all day is, for like a minute. No, I think there's still some all day breakfast options. They're very limited, but... They must be because they didn't have any McGriddles. And that's okay. like the main thing you, you should have. Steak, that's delicious. steak, egg, and cheese on a bagel. The steak is good. It's The steak is good. You get grilled yeah. onions on top of it. You get like oh an God. aioli sauce. Oh, I love that. And it's then you get obviously the steak, egg, and cheese portion of it. And the bagel, mm. the bagel's a good sized bagel. It's not like a tiny good. little yeah. like mini bagel. Sure, like Panera gives you. Decadent. <laughs> if you can if you can attach that word to a McDonald's, it would be just around that burger or that sandwich. Wow. Deca- decadent. Well, I'm going to go out of my way to get breakfast there because I really wanted to try the steak McGriddle because I love the McGriddle. Yeah. Using pancakes as the bun. Brilliant. Oh, wow. oh, Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Game changer. Um, very bad for you, though. Um, just putting that out there. Just like the double down. <laughs> In case anybody was, was thinking of, for from McDonald's was thinking of sponsoring us, please don't because <laughs> your, food, your food is killing us, literally killing us. <laughs> I like that we posted the video about no plastic in the toys and people are like well you still got plastic in the cheese and the, <laughs> right? the whatever i'm like i don't care it's delicious that yeah. frosty is not made or not frosty the mcflurry i heard once it was made of plastic didn't stop me from eating it oh man mm, i had one last week yummy that did plastic. not stop me one bit no way. i love the mcflurry the oreo one yeah. i tried the new one like strawberry parfait oh the whatever. summer the summer one yeah how was that it was basically just like it had like cereal pieces in it. Okay. Like, um, um, what's it called? The fruity pebbles is what it tasted like to me. Oh, okay. It was refreshing, but it didn't have like enough substance. Like the Oreo one, really, it really tastes like Oreo. Like I love the yeah. texture of the Oreos too. See, I'll so this everybody one's fine if you just need something cold. Of course, I I can't I can't not veer away from the M M&M and M McFlurry. Oh, you like the M&M one? There's just something about, like, how the colors bleed off the M&M into the McFlurry itself. Mm. And then the frozen M&M, I just, it's it's a nice, it's a nice taste to it. I don't know. It's something about that. Because the, the Oreo was... McFlurry just tastes like cookies and cream ice cream to me. Which is the best ice cream. Ever. It is the best ice cream. I'll agree with it you is there. It's the best. It's the best. Yeah. But you can't, you can't find a m M&M ice cream. You can, but. I think because the M- a frozen M M&M and M is too hard, so I think okay. you have to get it fresh. Like the the McFlurry, you get it, you got to eat it within five minutes or it melts. So well, you don't have to really your, worry about in your neck the of the M&Ms. woods. Sure. Well, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like anywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, especially here, especially here. Yeah. So that that works out okay. Um. So they're 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 doing a Power Rangers mall tour. But not to promote the 30th anniversary show. Okay. So I'm not really sure the purpose of it. <laughs> but <laughs> they're doing they're doing a mall tour. I'm trying I'm trying to see a schedule of it. I'm only I can only find information about like two places in like Wisconsin or something. I don't know. Oh really? I don't know what the plan is. Uh, but it's the original, it's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on stage, and then there's a meet and greet where you either meet blue or yellow. And yellow has a skirt, which is not right. That but isn't so right. You meet them. You meet them. Um, you have to pay for it, which is oh. interesting. There's like a VIP ticket, yep. but it's only like 11 bucks, so I would definitely do that. Um, but the funny thing about it, they had, they had a picture of it, which I'll put right here. You got to have a certain body to be in the Power Rangers suit. You just do. Sure. Like you could be fit, but your body still is just like shaped wrong to be a Power Ranger. Right. <laughs> and like even when they shot the show and they had stand-ins in the costume – and this always bugged me. The heights were wrong. 
like that like the like the black ranger would be taller than everyone or like the yellow ranger would be taller than everyone yeah. like that was so annoying like you couldn't you couldn't like switch the bodies around like switch the the, the people around and make the bodies the right tall to- right sizes but like there's this one picture and the guy he's just like sort of like hunched weird i don't know it it's very and like obviously the kids don't care kids don't no. care but as uh, an obsessive compulsive adult, it, it it just gives me PTSD to back when they would switch, just have like you know the 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 stunt doubles in the costumes, and their bodies did not match the the face actors at all. Oh sure. So, but I I I there are not a lot of malls left, <laughs> so I'm it's not like I'm expecting them to come to our local one, but there's like some bigger malls in in the Orlando area. Yeah. So hopefully I can take my, cause my son would love this. He loves power. Rangers. Sure. Uh, I, I've made sure of that. So I'm very interested to see if this comes near us because I would, I would, I would love, I never got to meet the power Rangers in any form. Yeah. I, they never brought the live show near us because I know we would have gone. I know we would have gone. So that must not have happened or my parents did a good job of hiding it from me. So I, I couldn't go. But I've never met anybody in a Power Ranger suit that was like official. There's been like some cosplayers right. during like a Halloween or something. That's the thing, though. Like, I never got to meet the real ones. It's I need like their autographs on some. It's stuff. like it's like the tour. I mean, they still do a lot of like kids show tours. I know Bluey does one. Right. Uh, Paw Patrol. I think Paw Patrol does one. Yeah. So they still do them, but like yeah, back when you could just go to like the mall and see like the Ninja Turtles perform. Oh, that was best. great. You see it once. That's so good. All right. Perfect. That's how we're going to get malls back. We need these yeah. more mall tours. He-Man get those, showed like, up. Upcoming, get those upcoming pop singers out there, the boy bands. Get the Draw masked singers out there. Get the masked singers get out the there. Get the masked singers out there. Yeah. 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 Who is it? It's Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. Get the oh, hell God. out of our mall, Rudy. Get out of here. Somebody mentioned that there was a... A McFarlane Batman Beyond Batmobile, but I didn't see a picture. Did you I didn't see, see anything a picture. about this. I sh- I saw him showing off the uh, the bat. What is it? The bat wing. Oh yeah, the, the big boy. The gigantic, <laughs> just laying it on top of him. I I you know what? Mm. As good as that show is, I don't think I was ever really a huge fan of the design of the bat the bat wing or the Batmobile for it because it even flew. Really think about it. It flew. It was a I flying really... car. Yeah, but it didn't look like like the Batmobile. No, it didn't look like, like that the we Batmobile. Know. No. Let me look. That it's, Yeah, it's not a mobile. According to Amazon, yeah, that, it was just my, like, my Batmobile shipping soon, like within the week. Oh. I can't wait. I hope it's not like horrible. <laughs> like we're so excited. It's going to just like It's like this thing sucks. So, like plastic so thin. Hollow piece of garbage. It's like the it's like the popcorn container that Ghostbusters put out. Damn it. I'm fully no i think that's actually pretty good oh it Honestly, is no it is as i think that's as, pretty good as far as if the, if the go, batmobile yeah. is the same quality as that popcorn bucket i will be pleasantly okay surprised. fair enough the batmobile from batman beyond is just a bunch of triangles like this has no i can't <laughs> my, my as soon as i look away i can't remember what it looks like because it's it's just nondescript shape no, i can't think of no it at all form has no form to it at all it's just like this pod and then like a sharp like a, a shark a shark fin on either side. Yeah. Is it is nothing. It is absolutely nothing. Oh, I see kind of what it's supposed to look like here. No. That's not no. it's not doing it for me. It's nothing. <laughs> I will not be purchasing purchasing that. That's fine. <clears throat> Good. Anything else for this big week? Uh we skipped Mando, but everyone loved it. Oh my god. Mando was we back on track. About, no, we gotta talk about this. Oh okay. you like this episode? I mean I don't know. Yeah. Be it's, honest, because people liked it. No, and it was I good. was like, what? Oh, this you was didn't like not it. Not good. Oh, really? I did really? not like it. I didn't like it. I mean, because I'll... explain to yourself. the reveal of of Moff Gideon was like so like comic booky to me. Like I got a new suit. I'm a Mandalorian oh, stormtrooper now. Yeah, at the end there. I, I couldn't figure out because he was like didn't work for me. He's like I perfected the dark trooper. However, yeah. at like the season finale of season two, they were like. We perfected the Dark Trooper. It's a it's all one hundred percent robot. We took the human out of the out of the robot, and it was like, wait, you just yeah. put the robot back in and said, I mean, the human back in and called it the new and improved Dark Trooper. But then it was like, is well, he wearing he, the Dark is Trooper it a costume clone? or is it a clone of himself? 
Like, are they all clones? Like, yeah. Like because all those he, troopers, he walked or? by those pods. He walked yeah. by the pods. So obviously, we were supposed to think that they're working on cloning. Right. And then he said he put he put himself into the armor. Oh. So I think he meant that literally. Oh. <laughs> I think so. I hope not. Uh. That's, that's how I took it. That's how I took it. That's why to it's like it so again. over the top. To I'll have me. to watch it again. Yeah, Yoda, and, Yoda uh, playing space croquet, croquet wasn't okay. wasn't over the top the week before, but. Moff Gideon. But him riding around in IG-12. I like, love that. Doing? I love... You know what? I had heard there was a rumor yes, about yes, that. Yes. No, that was no, great. No, no. no, that was great. That was great. He was just like an excited was it, little though? puppy. Was it great? He was just an excited little great? puppy. Well, so here's the thing. What is the point of him now? They his story's gone. done. His story he chose, is done. He's yes. done. So why is he there? Get him out of there. No, well, now he can armor up like Iron Man. But that was what I was ma- mainly worried about was the fact Ridiculous. that like that mech suit because there was rumor that he were going to gut IG-11 and make him some kind of suit of armor for Grogu. So I was like, oh, oh God, what's that going to look like? And I think they yeah. did it right. I think I think there was a line that they could have gone to and made him like Iron yeah. Man and just be like really cool. <laughs> and they were just like, nope. All the panels like flip around. Nope. This is just like a little kid in a tiny little yeah. piece of construction equipment that he can kind of go like this. Mm-hmm. There I go. No. Yes. Yes, no. Yeah, it didn't work for me. Um, uh. <laughs> I did, what's the little, what's the Babu Frick species called? The Anzellans. So the Anzellan, you know, ro- draws, drives it into the, the room the first time. And yep. he like, and he's like, oh, it's crazy baby. Yeah, no. But then he says something. And like, there are multiple people who made TikToks who think he said like, I'm out of here, mother effer. <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. Like, go, you know, search on TikTok. You can find it. People think he said something, and I need to go back and, and listen to it. I mean, there's no okay. way they said that, right? There's no way they tried. No, why would they? To, like, there's no, there's no chance, right? No. But maybe a little. Like, it's it snuck by. Who's to say? I um. So do you? Okay, here's the other thing. Man, this season has just diminished Dinjarin as a, a character. Yeah, like he's, he's basically he's, Boba Fett level. He's not a star in his own show at this point, right? He's like, I, you know, I'm not trying to say like, oh, you can't like a woman can't be the leader. But his little speech where he's like, I will follow you to the end. Like, get out of here. You're supposed to be badass. Now you're just like here following. Like, don't be a follower. Get he, out of here. he doesn't have a purpose. I mean, he saved he saved Grogu and then Grogu came back. So now he's just kind of like <sighs> along for the ride. I don't like it. That's not that's not a good place for that character to be. You gotta maybe get, they'll kill him now, off in grand fashion. It looks like they're gonna kill him off. They 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 caught. I thought Moff Gideon was gonna rip his helmet off. Are we gonna oh, go this whole that... season without seeing Pedro once? I think we might. It's Damn. a good. Well, he knows how to. He knows that's how to why... fix it. You know what I'm gonna what? think? Here, well, I said you know how he's just gonna go bathe in the waters again. But oh my god, I know, I know. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah, easy. I, now. Gotta, I can fix this. It's, it's gonna great. be it's, it's like, gonna be interesting because they were like the, the episode was titled "Spies" and there was only one spy okay. and you're like, well, who, who are the other spies? Right. So okay. So immediately people were were saying the armorer is bad. Yeah. And she's working and and when they were doing the Council of Spies with Moff Gideon, right? People thought the voice of that actress was the armorer's voice. Okay. So that's either a red herring or that could be something. Um, but then people were saying that the term the spies refers to something in Jewish hit- history where okay. they have to go on this journey. And like the people on the boat were like they fit that that bill. So that could be all that is referring to. So there doesn't have to be actual multiple spies okay. in the context of people who are like bad. Right. Um, yeah, I didn't. And then you had the probe droid at the beginning talking to the lady and it just like. It was ah, it was it was just like too too like this was from a comic. It wasn't working for me. Oh no, it wasn't working for me. <laughs> it really wasn't. And now you got all these Mandalorians, and I've talked about how it's just like armies of Boba Fett. Like I don't care about these people in there. No, like, right? I just don't care about them. <sighs> and then you had the red people from the sequel trilogy show up to kill. Pavlovis, Pavlovis or whatever his name, Pax Lavorian. Pax Lavorian. Pax Pax Lavorian. Paz Vizsla. Paz Vizsla. Yes. Um. 
that was what those were supposed to be, right? Like that the, was the Praetorian Guards, not the correct. exact look, but like the. So what's their story? So they always had the uh, Beskar armor. Is that why the lightsabers didn't work against them? Are we saying that they had Beskar armor? Because no, no, their armor got was able to be penetrated by the uh, by lightsabers. The lightsabers. Yeah, I guess so, but not like immediately. Like they they gave him a good fight. Didn't they have to like chop him up at their like their points, like their neck, where they weren't covered in armor? That's a good question. Or did it go right through them? I have to watch it again. I haven't watched it. I think at one point, uh, yeah. one of the lightsabers goes right through a helmet in in The Last Jedi. Yeah. Like, yeah, well, they're there's not... A, there's, like, Beskar and there's Beskar alloy. Right. So maybe it wasn't pure. I'm not going to get... And then there's, then there's Durasteel. I remember Durasteel used to be... Before Beskar was a thing, it was always Durasteel. Like, Stormtroopers... Stormtrooper yeah. uh, armor is made out of Durasteel. This, like... <laughs> like Duracell, like has yeah, the little check. You know, remember the batteries that you could check if they still had power. Oh, those are great. Them. You put the, you touch the end and the the side, and you'd be like, oh, I got, I got mostly green. We're good. It never worked. It never worked for me. <laughs> it never worked. I don't know. Somebody took one off recently and put it in, put it in like a, a cup, or they put it on the outside of a mug and filled it with hot water. Yeah, and that caused the. So it is, it's just like measuring heat. Is that what it's doing? Oh, is it? Is it just like a mood ring? Is it, that's all it is. is it I think ring? so. Yeah. I mean, it can't be very high tech. It's just this little thing there yeah, from the nineties. Such, such a gimmick. Here you go. Did you see the TikTok of how bowling alleys work? No. Okay. I, I so what I did alley, all week, I must have my eyes closed. I know you missed all these. Go back yeah. to the videos I watched. Ball is very, very easy. The ball comes up. It has like an S shape to bring it up to the ball return. The pins, the pins go back. There's this gigantic machine hovering above the lane. And the balls go, there. the pins go in. They go up an elevator. There's these little things to make sure the right way. They come down. There's these shark fins that either go left or right. There's 20 pins in there at all times, making sure there's a fresh, fresh batch right away. Like wow. there was like a seven minute video explaining like like the way too much technology <laughs> for setting up pins. It's the <laughs> most ridiculous thing I've ever seen that there's not like a like I'm amazed they don't break down every other lane. Like, oh, sure. It just seems like way too much. Like who's there on, on like staff at all times to make sure it's working? Oh, could you imagine? I'd have to watch that. That's wild. Yeah, I'll send it to you. It's it's nice. it like it's like it kept going. Like they did the ball <laughs> return in like a second, and then it would just like had all of these animations of the the pin return. I'm just wild. Like, what the hell? This is the most complicated machining. Like when was this invented? This is more complicated than like an automobile. My automobile. All right, Bill. Anything else for this week? No, I think okay. we're good. You know what we say? We don't want to grow up, but we already did. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone.